Hey, Z, can you hear me? Hey, Amalia. CB. I see Z out there. You are. Yeah. I um that's I'll figure this out one day. But um Xander, I think what I what I did was um hey CC. Uh I set it up to go live, but I just did everything except for hit the live button and I was changing my water, putting clean water out, and then so apparently it looks like it's it's backwards again. Uh hang on. Let's see. Let me try this. Now, what do you guys say? Hey, Joan. Hey, Travis. Am I oriented the right way? Your computer's on your right. No. That's not right. How about this? Now, where is it? It should be on it should be on the left side of the screen. Hey cat. Hey Kimberly. It's on the right side now. Good lord, I'm telling you. Hey Trina. Good to see you. Hey, Mets. Will everybody come in here for a minute? Terry. Okay, so I'm going to have to overlay my ManyCam window so that I can see myself oriented the right way. It gets really crazy when I when I go the other way, when it's opposite from what I'm doing. Okay, so I got a couple new things I wanted to show you guys. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I think I'm actually going to paint something tonight instead of my witch's brew making up pigments, although I could do that all day long. Um, but I got, I tried a few of these. I had to get them from Jack's art wait jackson's art in the uk um and i saw these somewhere hmm, where the heck i saw them uh probably youtube but they are aqua krill by i don't know let's go i'm not sure how to say that cc if they could hear you you could say it <laughs> but they're across between they say artist watercolor on the label or Maybe they do, whether it focuses or not. It's another story. Oh, for Pete's sake. Come on. I wish I could make this damn thing focus. What I want it to focus. There we go. Watercolor. Well, it says watercolor. You're just going to have to trust me. So, of course, I got my favorite colors and I got black. And I thought I might use these sometime when I do Lasco. Lasco. Okay. I wasn't too far off, I don't think. I don't remember even what I said now. So, um, of course, I got my favorites. I got a turquoise, blue, violet, and I got a black. I'm thinking these might work well on uh, Yupo. You know, when my, my black seemed to wash out to grays on the Yupo, I have a hard time trying to get it to stay black. I don't know that this one's going to work either. So, this is on watercolor paper. These are dry. I squirted them on here earlier. The colors are really pretty, but you can see where they um, are staining. See that initial brush stroke going down there? You can still see it. I dropped in some water droplets to see how they would bloom. And I blended the two colors here. And this is the black. And it really, it really washed out. Um, which doesn't mean it's a bad thing. I mean, it looks like watercolor. But... Um, I am. Um, yeah. Ah! 
my this my favorite moderator of all time for any channel. <laughs> oh Lord, it's gonna be a long night. Um, but anyway, so that's what they are, and and uh, I, you know, we'll try them sometime. I don't know if I'll try them tonight, but we're gonna try them sometime. And then I got a few more, so now I have a full palette of these luscious Hydra Color, which, by the way, in one minute at seven o'clock on the nose um she's doing a shop update and of course i'm gonna miss it because i'm on with you but i think this time she was doing um a shop update of um regular watercolors not a bunch of the shimmer ones like she usually does <laughs> joan <laughs> oh my gosh so um I might swatch those just to see what all of them look like since I have this partially swatched upon piece of uh, black watercolor paper. Um, and I finally got this ink. This is another thing I bought with the Yupo in mind because of how black doesn't really stay black on there. Um, I think it's more about the pigment than the paper. She really does, Debbie. She's got great service. That's Elena at Hydra Color. I color with an with a U in there. Here's her. Um, she's on Instagram, and her shop is on Etsy. Her name's Elena. She's awesome. <laughs> Kayla, <laughs> a slight nod. So I got this uh, platinum carbon black ink. It's supposed to be very black, very permanent, and very pigmented. So I'll put that in my black ink department. That's this good stuff. Ah, oh, come on. There we go. There we go. It's strained to focus, but there it is. That's from Jet Pens. But here's a couple other things I got from Jet Pens. I saw somebody on Instagram and they were um, using these watercolors and they were doing script lettering with the brush. And then they took pens like these and kind of went over parts of that lettering. Oh, you should see these babies. Let me test these for you. They're a finer tip, but let me show you um, what I'm talking about. Um. So there's a couple different brands here, I think. I gotta get where my glass. I don't need my glass tonight. Hey Dot. Uh let's see. Okay. So this is um these two are Uniball Signo, and they are um, I think they're called Starburst. Hang on, sparkling, no, they're called sparkling gel pens. So this is the, I got a gold, this is, what did I just say? Uniball. I don't have the best handwriting and I'm not trying to be fussy about it. I just want you to see the ink so we can press on. <laughs> so I thought these would be cool to go back on my watercolor pieces just to add a little, little something, something here and there. Yeah, CC's last, uh, last, uh, Piece that she did and the the pep talk along with the uh, with the art was both were stunning so these are pretty sparkly I gotta tell you let me see if they can catch the light the right way Sandra and Cece these are the ones I think I tagged you guys on that post on um 
Instagram. Lost my train of thought trying to get this damn thing to focus. There you go. Um, and uh, so I don't, Joan and Gayla, are you guys on and CB? Are you guys on Instagram? I'm on Instagram. I'm P Lynn T. P, like my first initial. Hey, Kathy. My first initial, my middle name, I was given at birth, which is no longer my middle name. Lynn, L Y N N T for Tolly. I can't, I didn't think you guys were. And I, and Kathy, I don't know if you're on Instagram either, but I know Cece and, and Xander are, and I tag them all the time on stuff I see that I know they can't live without. Pink Poodle. Hey, Stacey. Thanks for joining us. I'm just showing a couple new pens that I got recently. And um, then I'm going to do something with some watercolors. But you guys know Pink Poodles? Pink Poodle Craft. She's got her own uh, YouTube channel. You can click on the three dots next to her name in chat. And uh, you can find her channel. And you guys go give her a watch. She does a lot of live uh, YouTube stream pajama parties in the evenings. And does some really fun stuff. Her name is Stacy. So anyway, let's see what these are. At least I can't see with my glasses on. I can't see with them off. These are hybrid dual metallic Pentel. That's the gold one. I had gold and silver in both to kind of compare them. And because I like gold and silver. As we know, I like shiny stuff. Hey, Topaz. You're welcome, Stace. Now, these two are really yummy. This one is... See the two-tone on the pen cap there? Because it's two tone. Well, they say dual, but I don't know what that's dual with if it's just silver and gold. But this one is violet with blue. Wait till you see this. They sell them in a set of eight, too. I think these were three dollars a piece on jet pens or three twenty maybe. They are gel pens, Stace. Yeah. So this one is. Um, This one I could I just could just write on myself with this one. <laughs> this one is, I think it's called violet with blue. No, and then this one is vi This is blue with green. I hope this will show. up close so you can see these. Yeah, I really like gel pens too. Patty, can you zoom in a little? I am pretty zoomed in, but hang on, I'll go in more. And then I'm going to, I'm going to raise this up to try to show you this. Um, let's see if I can get this bad boy to, there we go. There you go. Now it's cooperating. See those two? Hello, lover. Oh, I lost my uh, I lost my focus. It happens to me a lot. Come on, Mama. What the hell is wrong with this thing? Let's try getting it out of there. I know. Imagine what the kids could do now with their doodling on their notebooks and stuff. Oh. That's the blue with the green. And that's the violet with the blue. Well, they're not going to focus for me. So I think you got to see them a little bit. But anyway, I thought those would be usable for little hints of accents here and there when I when I do something. Oh, we're running out of running out of storage. So um, let's get them out of the way. 
and I want to swatch these real quick before I start on something. Um, now see, I'm zoomed in too much. Hang on, I got to pop back out again. So you can see what's in my. Uh, Hey, Tam. I'm just going to put a little drop of water on each one of these pans. She overfills these pans. Um, You are not shortchanged when you get these. I can tell you that much. How she makes them for these, for this amount of money, I think they're $5.99 for a half pan. But knowing what pigments cost and how shimmery these are, I don't know how she does it. But she does it, and she does it very well. We're having a thunderstorm here. I don't know if you guys can hear the thunder. I just heard a big kaboom in the background. It's a wonder Babe's not down here crawling up my leg. I said Babe, not Dave. <laughs> Are any of those confused? Hang on one second while that gets... These are... Um... Well, no, you can't see it. Hydra Color. And she just, she updates her Etsy shop every Friday. And this Friday, it was at 7 p.m., so there's a fresh batch out there right now. And um, <coughs> this this time, she said she was going to do more um, of her, uh, the regular, not the shimmery ones. Oh, my God. Did you hear that thunder? Oh, holy crap. Oh, man, that shook the house. I'm going to call babe. She's going to have a freaking stroke. Hang on. Come here, babe. Come on, honey. Come down with mama. Babe. Babe, you want to come with mama? I know you're scared. Come on, baby. Come on, Mama. Come on. I know you're scared. It's okay. That was a big one, wasn't it? That was a big boom. Here, hide under here with Mama. There you go. Get in your bed. At a girl. Okay, I got her. Oh, Jesus. I heard it in Texas and Georgia. Yeah, that was a big kaboomer right there. Um. I want to take a quick look on, uh, here's her shop update. I wanted to try to find that for you. For some reason, the search on Etsy is really hard to use anymore to find any shop. Um, but she's got dot cards. And look how big the dot cards are. You can't really tell, but they're big dot cards. Oakley, he could care less about the storm. Dave's bowling tonight for filling in for a friend of his. And um, so he's not here, but Oakley's up in his crate and he, he's fine in there. He could care less. Babe, on the other hand, not so much. All right, I'm going to kind of move these to the side. And I'm just going to do a quick swatch of these. And then get on with it. Depending on how bad this gets, I might need to get off of here. These are really pigmented. Uh, it's called Hydra Color. H-Y-D-R-A-C-O-L-O-U-R. You know what? Uh, I know exactly what picture you're talking about, Gayla. And um, 
the funny thing is, I got a picture of Oakley doing the same thing to Babe. So, uh, she got her tables turned on her. I think these I swatched before, but Lord knows where. So just to get the whole pan swatched here, I'll just run through these really quickly. She very seldom has any sets out there, um, CC. She had a set out last week uh, that I saw on Instagram that she put out there. Um, but it, it sold, I don't know how many she had out there and they sold out immediately. And I, I was panicked, but then I looked and I had all those colors already. So I stopped panicking. These aren't really square or round. They're kind of a blob. And I'm not going to take the time to do these on white as well right now. Oh, thanks, Eve, for putting that out there. That I tell you what, the search on Etsy is a total pain in the behind. I mean, you could put in the exact shop name and it just, they don't come up anymore. Oh, so while I have you guys here um, and while it's in my little pea brain, next uh, Thursday, is that the 13th? Um, I Stencils is launching Joan Smithies that's on chat. She's one of my mods. Uh, Joan has, she's the newest designer for eye stencils and everybody always has, a lot of people left messages on my streams. Um, hey, Lucy. Um, hey, Judy. So Joan, everybody's been asking me like, where can we buy Joan stencils? Where can we buy them? What's her website? What's her Etsy shop? And she doesn't have them and didn't sell them. So anyway, she uh, is now the latest designer for eye stencils. And you can find her stencils under my Patty Tally Parish heading. And they'll be have her name on them, on her designs. She'll get the commission for them. It's just because Joan is kind of associated with me. Sorry about that, Joan. Um, it's easier for everybody to find them. Uh, rather than uh, go through the other 3,800. Uh, that they offer out there. So it's just a, a easier to find it under my heading. And we're going to have a sale. Um, Sherry's giving me a coupon code to use starting next Thursday. It's the 13th to the 16th. I'm not sure if it's going to be 20 or 25% on your entire purchase for the entire site. Now, this isn't just mine and Jones. This is the entire site. Um, and... Uh, She does free shipping domestically for orders that I think are $50 or more, but I, I'm not sure what that number is this time. Sometimes that changes. Um, and uh, a free exclusive design, which is really cool. Um, I can show you that maybe. It's a really cool one. It's probably my favorite one yet. Um, let's see if I can find it real quick. Oops, not in my work email. I'm not going to find it. Silly girl. Uh, okay, hang on. That's going to be the free design, the free stencil. It's very 3D, very geometric. CC, I can see your eyes bugging out. I can see sort of your cityscapes in there. <laughs> um, but anyway, that'll be the freebie.
So I will be streaming um, at some point every day. Uh, I'll announce on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram uh, when I stream and what the coupon code is. So you don't necessarily have to make the stream. Um, I will be playing with those and dem demoing those in different ways. Um, but um, if you want to watch the streams and get some ideas and see them in action and be able to ask questions and ask me to do different things with them live, you're welcome to join, of course. And um, so that's next Thursday to Sunday. Some of these are really dark. They'd be really beautiful and white. And I somehow in my frenzy to, to buy, I ended up with duplicates of two. So CC and Xander, I have a package coming to you guys. I'll give you each one of these. <laughs> you can try them out. Xander, I think you got a couple of these, if I'm not mistaken. These are so vivid. I should have maybe done these on white. I know, right, CC? <laughs> so I'm waiting for packages to cross in the mail. I'm waiting for Joan's package to get here um, that will have some stuff in it that I need to send to, to Zandra. So I'm holding up Zandra's package for that. Um, I don't believe there was anything I needed to ship to you, Kayla, but if you'd like, I'll ship you I'll ship you a picture of me with a, your tiara on. Now this was order stuff that we had split up and trying to get everybody's stuff into the right place. <laughs> yes, uh, Joan, I have your stencils on the way to me too. Sherry emailed and told me that they are in route and gave me a tracking number. So I can't wait to see which ones that you um, that you submitted. So I think we ought to all gang up on Joan for the shrine. <laughs> uh, we ought to all gang up on Joan and um, bully her into starting to stream too. You've got so much good stuff and so much talent to share. I really think you should. When is the next in-person workshop? Um, of who? Oh, you mean my little art, Regina? Is that what you mean? If you mean that, it's next summer sometime. Um, I'm actually thinking about maybe doing two a year at some point, maybe when I retire. Getting into the greens. Is Jean or Eileen on here? <laughs> You're start saving. I sold out this year. I'm thinking about going to maybe a different kind of format. I'm not 100% convinced what I'm going to do. <laughs> I think it's working, CC. I see her. I see her faltering. Paul, if you're listening, you need to convince your lovely wife to stream for us. And you as her helping hand in the background. She can't go wrong because whatever happens, it doesn't go right. She can always blame it on you. Poor Paul. He takes the brunt of everything. 
he's like everybody's husband the week of the the week of the retreat. Paul's everyone's husband. He helps everybody. We had two men this year, actually. Oh, is Randy and Teresa on? Or are they away still? Why did I miss a row here with Oh, where is my little puppet? Looks like I missed that whole area right there. I think I did. Of water. They actually they lift really easily, so I don't really think I even need to do this, to be honest. Oh, they're not back to the 19th. Okay. Babe just moved and has her foot, her head laying on my foot <clears throat> under the desk. These are really pretty to watch these. Yeah, I'll show you guys these close up. Um, but the, I love these shimmers dancing off of these. When you get those those shimmery mica pigments, you can see the pigment dance in the color until it settles down. Yeah, I'd be interested to see how those black diamond pigments are, Debbie. I saw those. I've seen them before on um, Instagram, but um, I don't remember what the tr issue was, but I had trouble finding where to buy them. And when I found something, it, they were way more than anything from Tokyo. Um, that's a brand name, CC. Um, but yeah, they were. Um, do you have a site uh, that you go to? to oh, you said Amazon. I have to look on Amazon. Not that I need any more pigments. It's getting ridiculous. Found them. Of course you did. I'm stuck here and I can't find them right now. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, I'm going to click on that link. Oh, no, I can't. That made me leave the site. I think that'll end my stream. God forbid. I'll have to go back and look at my own to pick up that link. Oh, no, I saw him say it's a good price. Darn it. I've seen a lot of pictures, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, some of the people that do resin uh, use those in the resin. Oh, also, um, Leslie from Color Art, um, they have a new line of resin pigments for those of you who do um, resin. Um she did some YouTube videos on them, and I think there's a sale on them right now. It's a limited amount of colors that are out right now. Um, but they look pretty scrumptious. I, I haven't, I'm kind of stuck on watercolors. You know how I go through phases, like I jelly printed on any piece of paper or flat surface that would stand still for a long time. And, um, Uh, then I got into doing the polymer clay stuff. Then I was making pint of papers and collaging. And then I go back and forth a little bit. And I do some acrylic stuff mixed in. And, well, here we are with watercolor. 
it's very addictive. They're so, it's just so cool to watch them, watch the pigments move and settle. And it's not, you know, it's kind of, well, to say it's fluid, it's kind of a, I don't know. It's not the right word to use, I guess. Of course, it's fluid, but. It's like they're mesmerizing. I'll show you my dirty water over here. That's even mesmerizing. We're supposed to get rain for I don't know how many more days in a row now. And Monday and Tuesday, it's supposed to be in the 70s, then in the 60s, which will be a welcome change but um, raining and um, yeah, so they're pretty yummy. Uh, Gail, I got to tell you. When I do my swatch card that I'll put actually in the tin, um, I'm going to um, put a black line through the uh, swatch so you can see them on black and white, or so I can see them on black and white. That's what I should have done here if I had any sense. I didn't even know I was going to do these until they were sitting there looking at me when I came down. I thought, ah, what the hell. I got a couple pigments that I got from... Um, they were for nails, for nail art. And um, I don't think they worked out well because I think they were too sticky in the Schmincke watercolor medium. Um, so hello, lover. Uh, they were, it was really sticky. One of them worked, one of them didn't work at all. I love that one in the corner, that pinky red. I think that's Snapdragon. Some of them aren't as shimmery yet because they're still wet. And this, this, uh, these mica shimmery ones kind of look more vibrant when they um, dry. <laughs> Couldn't pull that word out of my hat. So, um, all right, let's do something. What are we going to do? Oh, I had something to show. This, oh, this, I wanted to show this happy mail um, before we get started. This is from uh, my friend Sue Evans. She's, um, you know, get my address out of there. That's not good. Um, in the UK. And uh, I think she's in the UK in Germany? Quite in Germany, I think, actually. But she sent me a little note telling me that I'm costing her a fortune. <laughs> Sorry. And then she sent me a, little, a bunch of little bits. And you'll probably recognize her work because she sent me a bunch of stuff a while back. Actually, a year or two, maybe. And um, but look at this little card. And this is a piece of her art on top of there. Please. Oh, there it goes. It did focus. Look at the texture on that. I don't know what it is or how she makes these. But they are. Oops, here's signed for this way. These are gorgeous. Hey, Denise. And these are blank cards that I could use. But that's not going to happen. <laughs> She knows my colors, and I, I don't know. This is more like a, a molding paste, um, but this, that's really textured. But look at these. They're all, like, stunning. Is this a trifle? No, it's framed.
A lot of texture. Really, really pretty. Really pretty. Oh, I love this one. Come on, Mama. Focus. I command you. There we go. Oh, damn. There we go. Okay. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, she sent me some um, Clarity cardstock for um, braying and stamping, it says. So this must be the cardstock she uses. Look at this. I think this, I think this might have started out a jelly print. I don't know. It's got all these. I don't know how she gets that texture on there, but look at that. Please focus for mama. I mean, these are out of this world gorgeous. Sue, if you see this, hey, Jean, if you see this, um, thank you so much. Um, oh, come on, come on. I got this package a while ago and it got mislaid when I was packing for the retreat in July. And as I started to unpack, I found it. And she sent me some uh, Corrigan, which is a perfect color to use on some of my teal and purple Yupos. And, well, hang on, let me find the, the secret edge. I know, I wish she would come to Maryland. Wouldn't that be awesome? I should I should tell her that. So these are a little die cut. Oh, feather. She knows I love feathers. She knows exactly what I like. And these all have the same sort of um at first glance I thought that was a little penis, but I think it's a feather. Either way, I like both, so you know. She wouldn't be wrong. <laughs> Put these on here so I can bring them up closer to the camera all at once. But these all have the same sort of finish to them as those cards and paper did. Could I repeat that, Patty? What am I repeating? How cool are they? As Oakley would say, oh my goodness, I love it. <laughs> that's what I thought. Two or three would make it in the envelope doing that. That's okay. Oh, that I like either. Well, you know. I don't know what to tell you other than the truth. I believe I did, Lucy. I just said it. These are gorgeous. I'm going to put this somewhere where I can use it. And I'm going to put these in a safe place away from myself. <laughs> Every once in a while, the truth just slips out there. Okay, put those in a safe place. Now, I'm tapping. Oh, I got some more pigments. Um, Xandra happened to order a few for me. But I have to tell you that um, where did I put those? I was playing with those.
Oh, these are drying more now. Now look at them. <coughs> Excuse me. Going through them real quick like that, whipping them through the camera. You can't really see the just the subtle nuances in each one. Like, look at this green one here. Er, where are you? Can you see the the two tone in that or the shift? That's in golden with the green. A lot of them are like that. Yummy. So these were. Um, Patty, you've got to start using these paints instead of swatching. I know. That's what I said I was going to do tonight. I'm actually going to do something. So um, I didn't really mix these. I was just anxious to try them. So on the glass, I took two drops of the medium and a teeny tiny bit of the pigment and mixed it with my brush and put them on here. So these are, hey, Angelina. These are uh, half acinate. They aren't really mixed properly. I just was dying to see what color they were. So this is Color Space Turquoise, which is this in the bag. You can't really see anything. It's one of those that look, it's like an air, uh, interference color. That's pretty yummy. And this is the Viola Fantasy. It shifts green to gold. And see if, I mean, green to purple. Purple to green, I guess. Main color is purple. And can I get you to see the green? It looks kind of goldy there, but it's actually a, uh, it's a green in person. And then this one, that's still a little bit coming off of there. Um, even after it's dry, it's real thick silver. It's almost like glitter, but they're, it's like, it's fl rough flakes. It's not glitter. Um, so I'm not sure how that will be used. I have to seal over top of it. And this one, you can really see the shape of the flakes of this one. This is another one of the Metashine pigments. If you focus, that would be great right now. Because this one has a color shift in it. See that brilliant orange to the pink? But they're not, they're asymmetrical little flakes. I don't know if you can tell that or not. Yeah, they're kind of like snowflakey. You can see the color shift in it now. And then this one is their version of... Um, uh, Pacific Lagoon. Thank you. It's written right there. Um, it's similar, but different. And I, I have to give it a fair shot. I have to mix it up properly. But this is the one that shifts from turquoise to purple. Are you going to see it? Are you not going to see it? See a little bit down here where it's starting to shift purple. Really hard to catch these shifting pigments in the camera light. The light and the camera. It's really, I don't know why. It does not want to cooperate, but it's pretty, it's pretty good. You can even see it a little bit more on the white than you can with the creamer Pacific Lagoon. But they are pretty scrumptious. Just not sure about these real flaky ones yet. So we'll see how that goes. So let's see. I think I'll take one of my pages out of my little CC book. I'd made this a few weeks ago, a couple weeks ago, I guess, on stream with the disc bound system. And um, I end up collaging my covers. And this is the one that Gail laughed her little butt off at me because I couldn't manage operating the rings. <laughs> for, but... I did it finally. So that's the beauty of this ring bound system. You can take out a page. And I usually work kind of wet, so I don't want to get the whole thing all slopped up. But let me find an appropriate sized board. This one I think is probably too small. Oh. 
Oh, I might be able to put it on there. Uh, no, exactly the same size. So hang on, let me find my other. Um, I wonder where you are. Bought a couple boards, Joan. I think you used one of them in Maryland. So where would they be now? Oh, I know where they are. Hang on. This is probably way oversized for what I'm doing, but so be it. Let me zoom out till I get set up. Okay. Now, do I want to go landscape or portrait? Tapping as I think it out. I don't even know what I want to do. So let's just tape it down there and let's just let it happen, shall we? Because I haven't really done anything in so long that... Um, I have no idea what I even am going to do. So this is just artist tape. <laughs> uh, Gala, apparently you haven't seen me move much like a gazelle. Uh, but it's possible. I think I'll go this way. So I get... I don't know what the hell I'm even doing. This is probably not the right board to put this on, but I don't know where my off my flat one is. Right, Trina, tell her. <laughs> I can't even, I always have a hard time putting the tape on straight. <laughs> so that's going to, that says a lot for how this is going to turn out. <laughs> I so seldom do anything where I actually tape it down and, you know, expect, expect it to be. Ellen is watching Colleen. I must have missed something. Where's Eileen? She'll tell me what to do. Yeah, for sure. Where the hell is she, by the way? Oh, rascal. I have a date with Eileen in Boca in November when I go down again for work. I met her there at the resort two years ago when I went. Last year, we went to a different place. We were in, where were we? Oh, a different spot in Florida, I think. I think we're in Orlando. Oh, it's Colleen streaming. I hope I didn't step on anybody's toes. With my schedule, I got to just go when I can go because and this I'm going to come in over these holes because I want it to be a bigger border there. Okay, let's see what happens. I should pick out a color palette, shouldn't I? Oh, I got to go get my... um. um they're almost dry. My wheel. Hang on. Oh, okay, good. <coughs> oh, I forgot I got some oil. Uh, maybe we'll use some of that today. Oh my, don't drop it, don't drop it, don't drop it. Oh, I gotta set that down. It's getting away from me. Um, 
I found some foil on Blitzy. So I got silver, gold, champagne, black. And they didn't have a rose gold roll, but I got rose gold sheets. And then I got a couple. Of, oh, here's a tube of watercolor I got. Um, I got some rose gold flakes by Heidi Swap they had. And a couple different. Sorry for the noise. I'm sorry, Kate. A couple different adhesives, pen. I got two of the pens for some reason. I guess I thought that was a good idea. Um, okay, say thanks. I'll catch you live some other time. Have a great weekend. Sam, what are you saying? Oh, with company, the event at your house. Uh, are you talking about when I said I met Eileen? That was down in Boca for, for work. We have our national sales conference every year, and we've done it at Boca a few times. Um, I need to get organized down here, honestly. Okay, let's see. Where's my water? My water. Let me pick out a couple brushes that I want to use. I still haven't put these, oops, upside down. I still haven't put these away from July. And then I should tell you a little something about where I am in the process of things. Way behind, way behind. Hang on, I have these a little flat one. So let's see, what colors do I want to use? That CC, those last couple that you did are it's like you're on a roll, girlfriend. Oh, you're talking to CC Tamp. I mean C B. Too many initials around here. <laughs> um, yeah, they, that one was just, what was it? Indigo and Quinn Red and that light gold. Ah! And then the geometric one you did. That's some, that's more of my wheelhouse. I can I can accomplish something like that. But um, All right, let's just throw something out here and see what happens. I'm going to do some slow squeezes so I get some big droplets here and there. And let's see, what do I want to do? Maybe something different. Eh, maybe not. It's like I'm like my brain stuck. Let's start with Cascade Green. How bad can that be? Oh, I should probably fluff these up a little bit because I don't know where I'm going to end up. I probably just shorted out my computer. Oh, oopsie. All right, here's some Cascade Green. You gotta love Cascade Green. That's a Daniel Smith, and that's a green pigment, but it separates into a blue. Let me bring in a little bit. I feel like a fish out of water. Hang on, that must have, hold on. I'm gonna move the camera. A little squirrely there. A little off kilter. I don't even know where to start. That's why I watch CC and I'm thinking she just does like randomness 
and then it ends up into something really not random, really gorgeous. Again, as Oakley would say, oh my goodness. Oh, I don't have my paper towel. I don't have, I'm just not used to painting that way, like the real way, like grown-ups do. <laughs> oh, geez. All right, start anywhere as long as you start. Now watch, I probably sat here too long. Oh, that's really staining. Oh, hell, hang on. That's, nobody usually calls my cell phone. I know that's a prank call. Hang on, sorry. Thank you for choosing Hilton Hotels. I don't think I've ever stayed at a Hilton Hotel. <laughs> this is really staining. And now I've got that edge there that I can't manipulate. So maybe I should just leave the others there. Let me add more water and just let it do what it's going to do. But the pigment's really pretty. Let me more add more to this to hide up my hide my my um, stained edges there. Hey, Julie. No problem. This is B paper. Oh, it is harder to move the edges. Great. And that's, I'm going to do the CC. Uh, the CC. <laughs> and CC, what happens? You can see that pigment breaking apart into the blue green. I mean, that's yummy just as a spot. So what else do we want to put with that? <laughs> Any suggestions? Pink? Let's see. What pinks do I have? I wonder how Quinn Coral would look. That's kind of a pink. I've got Quinn Fuchsia, Rose Matter, Road Knight, Permanent Violet, Opera Pink. I know. It's almost like when you have too many paints and, and a brain like mine, it's almost like uh, hard to actually decide what the hell you're going to do. Let's try Queen Coral. I don't know why. That might be a big boo-boo. I don't know if that's what that's going to do when it mixes there. That's a staining color, too. Crap. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Where did it go? Oh, Quinn Quarrel. Oh, well, what are you going to do? Let me get a little bit wetter over there. Get it to run some more. It is, Debbie. It most certainly is. But I think all the Quinn's stain, don't they? Or does the B paper make it stain even more? Hell if I know. Um, you can't, it leaves a hard edge, um, Amalia, and, um, you can't pull the pigment back all the way again. It leaves, you can almost see it around there. If I can get it, see that line around the outline of that. That's when I try to lift it up, it's going to stay there. It stains the paper, literally. 
Now this looks person than it does on there. It looks orangey where this Quinn coral is real pinky red, orange coral. Patty Z had a good point. Try to blend on a palette before putting on the paper. And that's another thing I never do. See, you guys got to watch me. Hang on, let me grab a palette. I'm just going to grab the one that's just... My footprint one's back there, but it's got all kind of crap on it. Um, let's see what happens if I just drop some water in here. Babe doesn't like this technique. Hey, Susan, delete the paint at the beginning. I'm so used to doing my UFO thing that I get it really saturated and go right to the paper. And I know that's a no-no for doing stuff like this. Um, let's see. I don't know, maybe a little lunar black in there, here and there. I have no idea what I'm doing at this point. There's no, I got nothing. This one I like really pigmented. I should go just right to the paper with that one probably. needs to be to be wet at least a little when stirring in the palette to revitalize the pigments. I know Gail has been unusually good. It makes me it kind of creeps me out. <laughs> she creeps me out a little bit when she's acting normal. Where's, who are you and what have you done with my gala? Well, I don't know what that's supposed to be, but it's something. <laughs> oh. She is one sick puppy, let me tell you. <laughs> oh, I could tell you stories about my gala. No idea what I'm doing here. But I'm thinking. It's like a pink flamingo. Where's Eileen? <laughs> I'll have to take it to her and give it to her in Florida. Watch her screech. This looks like here, like the flamingo's head here. Let's see. Let me turn it around. Do I see anything different in here? It's just basically blobs of paint. I gotta take my glasses off to see this up close. That cascade green is really cool. Really cool pigment.
So let's see, maybe something. <coughs> That's still kind of wet. I want to darken that up a little bit with more of that Quinn Coral. So I'm thinking maybe, I know I'm going to go something metallic here soon, but I think maybe it should dry a little bit more. Um, can't see with my glasses on, I can't see with my glasses off. I love how that lunar black starts to break apart. Come on, work with mama. Here it goes. Mama like that. Maybe I'll let this dry a little bit and work on something else and then come back and put some gold in it. Maybe some geometric y kind of stuff. That's hard for me to screw up. <laughs> um, Oh, you know what? Maybe I should do something on this. Um, hang on, I'm digging for something. I'm trying to figure out where I might have put what I'm looking for. I'm anxious to see how that's a piece of Yupo. I'm anxious to see how some of these Tokyo pigments work on with my I do my Yupo things. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Burn? So here's my Pigment Tokyo ones. <clears throat> Beth, hey! Oh my goodness, like Oakley would say again. Oh my goodness. I grew up with Beth back in our Bayside Drive days many, many moons ago. She since has moved to Florida for many years. And um, we reconnected on Facebook a number of years ago. So these are the pigments that I made in New York at Creamer. Might throw one or two of those in there just because they're here. And these are the Pigment Tokyo ones. So um, I'm going to kind of go with what I know. Find a little bit bigger brush. Let me try this one. Um, How is everybody, Beth, your mom, and and uh, Beverly? Everybody good? How's your husband? Okay, I'm going to do my normal and then add some of these to see how they react. Where's my water? Yeah, Terry, I do um, I do use cheesecloth and, and different kind of gauze. Actually, I have a piece here. Hang on, let me see if I can do this without losing my pigment. I have this piece laying beside me that I did at 
for my class in um, Maryland this year that I taught the abstract on UPO. And you can see some of the gauze up here in the corner. Look at that lunar black though. That's all that is, is just lunar black on the UPO and it just keeps moving. But you can see different spaces down here where I put the gauze on there. And here's a big area where I did it. It's lifted up. It's just what imprint it left in the watercolors. That's, I like doing that. Oh, she's buying a new house. And Brian's done with treatment. Thank goodness. <laughs> yeah, that's a shocker, isn't it? She's artsy. Oh, shoot. Forgot what I was doing and just dumped my loaded brush of loaded pigment into the water. Not smart. All right, let's get this going here. I want a little bit more water in these. Get these real loosened up here. And now I'm just going to throw some of this on. I'm going to go back to my old, old faithfuls. And this is Fallow Turquoise, Daniel Smith. And I'm going to put down some Dioxazine Purple by Core. Hey, Becky. This is a really good color. And I just want to get it to where, see what it's doing to that purple or that teal? It just pushes it, has its way with it. So now, let me grab one of these beauties. Let's put some of that. What's that going to look like? It's too much like that. Hang on. Look what's happening right there. You guys can't see that probably. Hang on. I'm going to get this off my brush. Let's see what that does in there. Try to bring in close enough. See what that's doing right there. Hello, lover. That's pretty cool. Let me get this. This is another Tokyo pigment. Let me get this up against this purple here. Oh, my gosh. Can you guys see that pigment dancing in there? I mean, it literally is dancing off the page. I'm going to try to lift it up without... Of course, it'll settle by the time the damn thing focuses. Come on. Oh, well. You just have to trust me. Wow. <laughs> That's not too... I can't really hate that too much. I want to get more of this phallic turquoise down here. I'm just going to use my colors... Oh, you can see my fingerprints there. See if I can scrub them out. Oh, Susan, you take under radiation. You just finish your first. Good for you. It'll be over before you know it. And God bless you for going, having to go through it. I, I get it. I didn't have to do radiation. I did 16 rounds of chemo. But um, I know too many people who have. Good for you. Good for you. Be done before your daughter's wedding. What brand of paint? Some dance more than others. Um, the pigments that I'm talking about right now are the Tokyo pigments that I I made on the last couple of streams. I put them in this pan over here. To, let's see. I need to get more, more regular paint down here. 
so I can, um, that's looking pretty spectacular, I gotta tell you. Um, it's really cool what this is doing through here close up. Oh, your best friend has radiation coming up, Jane. As I'm zoomed in so much, some of this is going to go off the off the rails here. Hang on. Ugh. So let me, what do I want to do? I need to get something. So oh, you know what? Lunar black. Screaming for some lunar black up against those metallics. Where are you, my little beauty? There you are. See, when I do this, I get really a heavy pigmented brush. And then I come in right to the Yupo. And I'm not touching that on purpose because I want to get it down where I want it. I'm just going to do a streak all the way across here. While it's still really, I got a lot of pigment on the brush. And then I'll let it start to meet that and see what happens. You never know which one's going to take over which. And all these brush strokes that you see, they all kind of mellow out. And because the, the um, Yupo is so, um, what I want to say, uh, non-porous, it doesn't absorb into that. It just pushes it. They keep moving. They don't just stop there. So far, so good. That's great. You know, a lot of that stuff, as bad as it is, it's so much better than it used to be with the better technology, the better types of radiation, the better um, nausea drugs for chemo. Um, try to get this whole page in here. Wow, I was really zoomed in there. Holy mackerel. Holy mackerel. But see what that... Oh, that's so good. That lunar black. So let's do something. What are we going to do on the other side of that? Let's do this other. This is the um, the duochrome pigment. Let's do a stripe of this across here. Oh, look at that. Look at that black going into that. Let's see what happens here. Wow, look at that black taking over. Can you guys see that? Oh, oh, getting all those feathers in there. Yeah, I, that's what most people have, have said, Susan. Um, my Dave had uh, seven weeks of radiation. Um, and uh, he hadn't... He had his before I met him, so I wasn't there. I don't really know how long he did chemo, but I know he had a lot more chemo than I. I had 16 rounds. He had, I don't know how many weeks or rounds he did, but I know he was going twice a week at one point. And uh, he's uh, 17 years out now. God bless America. Um, so, um, you know, it's it works. It's not, it's not fun, but it works. Um, I'm going to put some of this. This is a green one. Let's do some of this down this other half. Down here and see what happens. Oh, Jean, can you see that? I know you don't like shimmery paints. That pigment looks like somebody's electrocuting it. And it's just, it's just dancing on the paper like crazy. I'll show you on a swatch when I get done this. I think this one's going to turn out pretty cool. Let's try. Um, let's go back and get more of that purple. Let's run another bead of that down here. Look how that's almost black when it comes out off the palette. Let's see what that does. That's usually aggressive. Look at it pushing into that. It's pushing that back into the black. And mixing with that turquoise. <laughs> oh, hello, lover. That's mixing with the green and changing the color of the green. Oh my goodness. Thanks, Dot. That green was so cool, though. I'm going to put more. 
this is one of those, the duochromes um, and the green. I think it was called duochrome green. Oh, no, chroma green. This is the chroma green. I don't know who's taking over there. <laughs> it's just, it's really just the paint, CC. Honestly, trust me. I don't know what I'm doing half the time. I do like Kathy said, the first year she came to my retreat, she said she told her, fr her friend said, you're going to an art retreat? Can you, are you an artist? She said, well, I have the supplies. <laughs> I'm going off that same kind of, that same mindset. I got the supplies, so I guess that makes me an artist. Or crazy enough to try. Look at you. Let's get this. Um, This is the one that I think was like close to my rose gold. Let's try a little bit of that in here. How bad can I? Oh, look at you. Look at you. And look where that little drop of purple wiped that turquoise out and just pushed it out of its way. Had its way with it. Now the turquoise is coming back into the rose. Uh, the I think that's called tan opal. I wish this would dry in time that I could doodle on this. Oh, maybe I'll get an old piece out and doodle on it. That one over here is still wet. Hey, sis. What you doing, little girl? It's okay. It's all right, baby girl. Let me put some... Uh, do I want to put lunar blue in there or stick with the black? I think I'll stick with the black. Just a little bit up in here. See what happens. Look at it pushing that green out of the way. It's like a piece of sparkly glitter in there. Wow, 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 wowza. Let's do this one against the black now. This one kind of blended in before. Look at you. Pretty little thing. Look at that. Just the black just eat that up. <laughs> you see it? Oh, yeah, Denise, we had bad storms. That's why Babe's down here with me. I went up and hollered for her to come down. She is freaked out. Dave's not home right now. and um, it shook the house. The guys on the stream heard it. They said they heard it in Texas and Georgia, I think. <laughs> That's all right, Beth. You can you'll you'll figure it out here when you're you know when you do it a little bit more. It'll come to you. Um, let's see. That's a really dark. I wonder what would what would make that move. Um, let's try a little bit more of this number here. There it goes. There goes that puddle. See it all just somebody sucking it off to the side there. And when you got a fingerprint on there, see where that's resisting? If you take your brush and kind of like scrub it on there, sometimes you can get it to overcome that. Let's see what happens when we mix those two together, the purple and the turquoise. How bad can that be? Oh, my gosh. I'm going to have to try to show you guys this up close, what I'm talking about on a small piece of Yupo that I can handle up to the close to the camera. That's a pretty good puddle right here now with this turquoise. Look at that. I don't know. Let me bring you down. 
I'm going to zoom you in one more time. Hey, Penny. Um, kind of a conglomeration. The tur Most of the turquoise and the purple that you see are, it's a Daniel Smith and a core. And then I'm using these Tokyo pigments that I mixed up the other day. I'll take care, Trita. It was great seeing you online. Hey, Linda. So, um, oh my gosh, this is really, really pretty. I'm trying to patch this up where it's a little blank spot on the end there. I want this to move a little bit more. Maybe if I, can I drop in there? If I drop a little bit of this dioxazine purple in there, look at that. See what that does? It's crazy, I tell you. Crazy. Now, I don't like what I just did there. Got to wet it again and let it, let it resettle and find another way. Let me drop a little bit of... Let's do with this green again. Just to break it up and make it look... Like I meant to do it. <laughs> All right. And this just pushed away to white again in there. Pretty much. Let me drop a little more of that green in there. And see what happens. And that's another cool thing on this. If you don't like it, you can pretty much wipe it back to white. Now, I will tell you that I know for a fact that that purple... The dioxazine purple um, by core will stain this to a pink. But now let me hang on, let me get a piece of paper to pick this up with. Oh, the phone. Where are you going, Seth? You can stay there, honey. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. be able to lift this up like this and try to show you some of these. I'm going to focus. What is with this focus on this damn thing? It drives me crazy. Which, as some of you know, was a short trip. Most did. <gasps> shit. See, I only said shit once so far tonight. Come on. There's all kind of interesting little hints of shine and feathers and that lunar black. I could just do a whole one in lunar black. Penny, I don't believe you've come over to see me yet unless I missed you. You were here visiting with Dave and the Pops and didn't tell me maybe. I don't know. Okay, let me put this somewhere to dry a little bit. That's pretty nice. I got to say I'm thinking, though, you know what? I don't know. It might be too late to do that. Yeah, I'll leave it alone. So I think that green, I should have put in some more of that green um, on the other side of that. I added that late in the game. Um, hang on. Where are my... This is still... Got wet spots on it. Not too bad, though. Not too bad. Let's see. <laughs> In your most watched video. Uh, 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 that's funny, Vicky. I wouldn't have pegged you for somebody doing that, but God bless you. Oh, I'm known to have one slip out here and there, too. Um, I, I thought I had a... Um, Shoot. Um, I'm just trying to think of where my circle template might be. Lord only knows. I really need to take some time off and just come down here and work. <laughs> oh, Gailie, you knucklehead. Hmm. 
Oh, thanks, EC. Um, so, there's still little puddles on here. I think the heat gun, I'm hesitating because I think the heat gun would scare Babe. We don't want to do that. I'm looking for something for a pattern I can use for a circle. That's kind of big. Maybe I can do something off. That's too big. I don't want to do that. And let's not kid ourselves that you think I can actually draw a circle. Please. Oh, maybe I can just use the pencil and outline in this. Let's see how that works. Where's my pencil? I'll just use this one. Oh, don't don't worry. It's going to get some gold. It's going to get some kind of something gold. I don't even know what I'm doing now at this point. I'm just trying to. Come up with a little, a little guideline here and there. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but I just marked it out. So let's do something. Do I want to do some of these, or do I want to do my rose gold, or do I want to do a creamer gold? Oh, that's a weather warning. Let's see what's happening now. We had flood warnings up. Oh, no. Continued rain. Big whoop. i got to turn those notifications off. Like, I only want to know it when there's something, like, disastrous headed my way. Have you ever been, like, in a grocery store or somewhere? When everybody's phone goes off for like an amber alert or a silver alert. Good Lord. Everybody hits the dirt like, you know, you don't know what the hell's going on. Don't let me forget to get a piece of Yupo. I'll, I'll do these circles and rose gold and then I'll come back and let that dry and then I'll show you that. But remind me because that'll be two minutes and then I'll forget by then. So I'm just saying. So I'm just going to color these in with some rose gold. And see, I didn't even go to the palette again. That's really wet. I know. I saw that, Denise. Dave's going on a golf trip. Although this time he's not going south, so maybe they won't be that affected. They're going up in the mountains this time. Actually, was it last year? It might have been last year. They were in the Myrtle Beach for their annual trip, and um, Uh, they got evacuated because of the hurricane and some of the golf courses actually were underwater. You know, when Davey'd still try to play, put a little life jacket on his golf balls. Cece, your hand is so steady. That's what I watch you when you, when you work. And my hand is not steady at all. I don't know if it's my hand-eye coordination or I just am, I'm not really that shaky. It's just not, uh, not so steady either. I don't know. I don't know how this is going to work with trying to go over this. Kind of glaze over that cascade green where this circle fell.
see where um, Amalia, see where I'm going over this with what watercolor and that edge isn't moving at all in the green. That's stained in there. Oh, you know what? I forgot to put uh, all the talk about the gauze and the cheesecloth, and I forgot to put a piece on there. Oh, well. Next time, perhaps, I'm going to glaze another layer over there, try to close that up a little bit. Um, yeah, normally that would have reactivated and blended or moved a little bit, but you can see that, that line down through there, through that one. And you can see where this is through there. No movie. No movie. Um, what time is it? 8.30. I think I'll splat a little rose gold while I'm at it. While I'm going to set this off to dry. Oh. <laughs> oh, mercy. Where are you, Denise? I'll see you, Beth. Good seeing you online, hon. Take care. Tell everybody I said hi. Um, did Denise, no, Denise didn't answer yet. I know you're not too far from me, Denise, I believe. If my little, my two brain cells are, are ticking correctly. All right, there's the next. That's where, there it goes. I was going to say, it's not even shining. It's shiny. Outside of filling your, oh, okay. Oh, yourself and Xander, Okay. I want to show you what I'm talking about. I don't have a small pack of Yupo anymore. I'll use one of these. I want you to see the pigments dance. See if I can show you what I see. Um, oh, sorry, babe. It's okay, honey. Lay down. The boom's all gone, I think. Honey, the boom boom's all gone. It's okay. All right. I figure rose gold is always a good choice. Um, all right, let me try to show you. This was the, um, this is the Tokyo pigment called Chroma Green. Let me see where I got to go with this up here. I don't know if this is going to focus or not, but we'll try. But watch how this pigment. Oh, hell. Hang on. Oh, from this side, it looks turquoise. I forgot this is one of those. Um, you're seeing that lime apple green. See the pigments move? No, because now I'm not moving them. Hang on. See what I mean? Oh, hello, lover. Now, from where I'm looking, and I don't know if I can do it or not without making it run, it's bright. You can't see it. It turns dark, but it's bright turquoise. So it just looks dark to you guys, but it's like it's bright turquoise. But you see what I mean about the... I know. Like they're doing a hoochie-coochie dance or something. Look at that, baby. Keep losing my grip. I think I'm about to pass out. That's why. Um, and I think this one is an, another mover and shaker. Let's try this one. And from the angle I'm looking at that, that is like a bright flag blue almost. Where you see that turquoisey teal. And see that that one's not damp. They're there and they're sparkly. Gosh darn. Um, but they're not. 
there's not as much movement. Oh, sorry about that, guys. I can't. Maybe it was one of the other ones that was really. Was it this one? Let's try this one. This is a duochrome, I believe. Nope, they're not moving as much either. It's the green that's the real dancer. And which one is that? That's a chroma. Let's, let's blend these up here and see what happens. Except you can see the green still dancing on there. See how it's still moving? Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Thanks. Stop by, Patty, and pick up my pans. What the hell are you talking about, Penny? Pans. You mean pans of watercolor? Come on. Come on over. Let's try a couple of these other ones. This is that other chroma color. That's that one with the color shift. But that's not moving like that green. That's green is still moving on that page on the paper, like it's twinkling. You can see a little bit of movement in there. Well, this one does too. It's hard to get. I'm trying, I'm looking at my computer, holding this up blind and trying to move it into the camera because I'm trying to see if it's focusing or not rather than watching what I'm doing. There, you can see it moving a little bit. Of course, there's glare and my hand shaky. Oh, is it is it the green ones that do that most of the running? Yeah. Let's see what this one. This is my tan opal. That's the one that's close to my rose gold. Let's see what happens there. I'll just try all of them. We'll just throw them in here and let them mix and see what happens. Well, really, it wouldn't be right unless I threw some lunar black in there. Gail is coming down to read me a bedtime story, so she's coming over. Sweet Lord, what's happening? <laughs> wow, look at that, pushing that green back out of the way. That's pushing everything. You are very bossy, Lunar Black, but I love you. Where this green's trickled in, it's all they're all still moving. Let's see what happens here. Like the lunar black's pushing all that back too. This is just mesmerizing. I could sit here all night and just add more, add more. Hang on, let me bring you in. I got you zoomed out again. I'll have to reorganize, but hang on. I'll do it for you. So I'm anxious to see how brilliant these end up on the white paper by themselves. Well, it's got a little bit of lunar black in there, but I mean, mostly. I mean, not, I mean, all metallics, not with the regular non metallic watercolor other than the black.
this gold is a dancer too like a dancing queen okay what don't i have on there i think i got everything on there let's go back to get some green over here maybe Even if I just put holes out of this or cut pieces off of this, this will be cool. Get some leader black down there. Some wonky fashion. Let it start having its way with the paper. Oh, it's kind of all resisting over there. That's not good. Let's try some of this in here. These are all Tokyo, except for the lunar black. Let's just see what these do. Oh, I mixed. Oopsie, I double dipped. Wow, look what this black is doing right here, this lunar black. Scrumptious. That's really, I must have, it's like I handled this one after I put on hand lotion. It's got bare spots all over it. That's not good. Look at that, how it's all resisting up there. I don't know what the hell got on there. Oh, well. It'll end up being pretty anyway. This is one of my favorites. This is that um, CPK Chroma, Chroma Shine CPK, I think it is. Almost done with this one. I want to do something with that. Look at all this resist. What the hell's on there? Lordy. That and the lunar black mixing makes a really cool dark. Look at that. Dark bronze. Bronzy look gold. Where it's infiltrating. And this, this needs something else. This needs more water. It was too thick, maybe. Oh, what are we going to put out there? Let's do this one. That blue, that kind of moves too. I can see that one dancing pretty well. Pretty good. Nurse Kraken. Who's Nurse Kraken? Sorry, I got absorbed in my pigments. There's, this streak looks weird to me, though. It's not doing the same thing as it usually does. Let's go over that a little bit. Huh. Interesting. This one's going to take forever to dry, I believe. I'm 
let's just do a little bit of black over here in this corner. Patty, we need a road trip. I'm all in, Gala. Where are we going? Nothing like a road trip to blow out the pipes. Swimming to Tokyo. Uh, uh, okay. All right. I'm going to. I don't watch my time here. I'm going to go up and get Oakley out of his crate here. He's been up there all by himself. Poor little thing. But I work from home today, so he was out all day. So it's not like he's being tortured. He just can't be trusted yet. Look what that lunar black does. Come on. Oh, you pain in the ass. Just knew it, are you? Not going to focus. Okay. This is real, real shiny everywhere. I'm just going to let this off to the side here to dry. Where are you going, babe? I'm not leaving you. I'm not leaving find a flat surface to put it on. Let's see, is this one dry enough? Nope, still got a couple little puddles on there. All right, let's go back to this. Whatever this is. <laughs> oh, I'm not a fan. Um, there's still some wet spots in the red and black. I don't know. I wonder if I could, um, Let me see these new pens. Hey, Tiffany. That's Southern Gals design. That's Tiffany. Hey, y'all. Well, a little bit of a disaster here, but I was playing with some UFO paper and that those new pigments that I got from to, uh, Pigment Tokyo. And this is getting dry enough. I think I can tilt it now. To start to see what that's starting to look like. We've still got some puddles, so I don't want to tilt it too much. But you can see how reflective they are in there and some of the effects that we got. That's pretty cool. Babe, come here, honey. Come on. Come here, lay down with mommy. Come on. Go ahead, lay down. There you go. Um I got these new twinkling <laughs> I'm talking about New York Gala from that cluster of a trip that was a blast though that was a lot of fun worth every painful second um, let's see. I think that's like a black silver. Whoa, that's really that's a lot sparklier. Let me try just doing a little bit of something here. Oh, Susan, is that where you are? In New York, we went after my little art retreat at the end of July. Um, we, nine of us, uh, ended up after the retreat going to um, New York City to Kramer Watercolor and did a uh, watercolor class where we made all these handmade pigments and made our own blends and, and, uh, had a blast. We went up one um, 
we went up on Sunday and went exploring and shopping and had <laughs> dinner <laughs> at Oscar Wilde. It got a little bit out of control. May have been a tango involved, but anyway, um, yeah, it was uh, it was a fun night. And then we went to the Kramer class uh, on Sunday and did that. And then we took the ferry back to New Jersey. Six of us came back to Baltimore, uh, me and five others in my vehicle. And then um, Cece drove back to Montreal. And then Zandra and Tam were already, they lived in Jersey. So they had a little bit shorter Oscar Wilde tango. Oh, my God. Patty went wild at the wild. Woo! Well, I don't want to name names, Joan. <laughs> if there wasn't video to prove it, I could get my way out of it. But no, little video. Um, so I don't have a rose gold. Wouldn't that be cool to get one of these in rose gold? <laughs> he was a sport, wasn't he? Bless his little heart. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Scarred for life. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't really see anything in here to make this anything in particular. But I'm just going to. I'm just going to make some marks and uh, I don't know how steady my hand will be at this. These are gel pens. <coughs> um, I got from Jet Pens. This one's a Uniball Signo Sparkling Silver. And it really, it really is sparkling. Hang on, where did I write with these earlier? It's the top silver one on there. God, this camera focus is driving me crazy. I'm just reading the chat. I didn't have a stroke. Yeah, Xandra had to try to keep us reeled in. Oh. oh, this is a board from um, Robax Engineering. And it's on a little bit of a stand on this end. So it's kind of down, you know, it raises it up on an angle. And it's got wells where you can put your colors and work off of here. Um, it's the same place that makes this palette. Um, it's Robax, R-O-B-A-X. He has several different ones in different sizes. Um, yeah, we always had three cabs. My technique for hailing a cab, though, did work quite effectively. You got to give me that much. Yeah, these are really cool. And they weren't that expensive, um, Tiff. I know. I know, Joan. Our cab driver on the exit after the class, we were trying to beat feet to the ferry. And this squirrel um, insisted he was taking us to the right place. And we were getting there. I was like, I don't remember any of this. I don't think this is right. I this is the only ferry to New Jersey. It's the only ferry to New Jersey. I thought, I don't think it is. I mean, he's a cab driver in New York. I didn't want to tell him his business, but. Oh, God, no, they would they would not stop for this leg, Denise. Maybe 30 years ago. Not so much anymore. I have a, an impressive whistle and I don't mind using it. 
but um, yeah, he took us to the wrong damn place, which caused us to miss the ferry we were trying to get on, which actually worked out well because then we got to hang out uh, the extra hour uh, with another hour with CC and Xander and Tam. Um, was it Tam? T C C Xander? Who stayed late and went to that other the Da Vinci store? I don't remember. It's all a blur. We packed a lot in in the few hours we were there, just for one night, I got to tell you. It was just CC and you. Okay. Yeah, so we got to, we got to, um, <laughs> we got to uh, spend an extra time. Yeah, well, he took us to a completely different uh, dock station or whatever you want to call it. Um, and I knew he was trying to dump us out and say, well, yep, here you are. You can, I was like, no, I don't think we are. I do not think we are. Um, anyway, what the hell we made it, got some extra time with our buds. Um, God, my mind's just like going blank here, but see there, put that little silver edge with these around the rose gold. Oh, oh I thought I hit the camera. I'm hitting the, um, this board's kind of big to be flailing around using a, mo a mono, uh, what do they call it? A monopod hanging from the ceiling for my, um, see silver around there? We need to get them. We need to write the company and have them make a rose gold pen. <laughs> yes, maybe that's why, Gayla, you were laughing so hard driving with CC. Perhaps that's why we lost you on the highway. We had to pull over, try to wait for you guys to catch up. Of course, you said we were ahead of you, so we're charging up the road to find you. And then I thought, there's no way they got ahead of us. They got to be behind us. So we, the other cars pulled over, waiting for CC's car to show up. And it was so funny. Tam, you'll, uh, Tam's still on. I thought she was going to die. We pull over and we're waiting for CC's white SUV. And here comes a white SUV and pulls off behind us off on the side of the road. <sighs> pulled off behind us on the side of the road. And I jumped out of my vehicle to run back to, to say whatever to him. And Tam's hollering, it's some hairy man that's driving the car. <laughs> it still wasn't Tim. But, oh, my God, how do we get that separated? A little lost through the toll. Oh, my God. Gala at the time was probably peeing herself. So, uh. <laughs> CC is very funny. I got to give her that. That was hysterical. Oh, my God. Eh, what the hell are you going to do? So, I don't know. What am I going to That's a good question. What the hell am I going to do? I don't know. I'm looking at the time and I'm thinking about my little my little pooty cake up there in, his, in the box. I should go up and be a decent mother. Um, I wonder if I can just draw like, I don't know. What happens if I just draw lines? I'm trying to channel my inner CC. Like Kathy says, I have all the supplies. This damn board's too big. I got to get a smaller one. And then it was me and five other knuckleheads and Dave's Navigator driving us all home. Oh, Lordy. Four hours or so from the ferry in New Jersey back to Baltimore. But we made it.
Oh my God, CB, um, you should have gone. I know you couldn't go that time, but oh Lord of mercy. Hey, yeah, yeah. That was pretty funny. Although knowing CB, she would have stolen my tango partner. See how shaky my hand is? I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm not looking at chat right now. But if you can... I don't know if you can see that. No, you can't see that. What the hell am I talking about? You can't see that. I'm trying to make rings around that. They're not very even. Not too even. I'm going to do one more, and then I'm going to do... And do little stripes. Through there. These pens write really smooth. I'll give them that. So I made kind of a checkerboardy kind of thing around there. I don't know. My brain's kind of fried, so I'm at a loss for what to do. There you go. Now it's going to focus. And then these have just little stripes, little sparkly stripes here and there. So um, since this is dry, I'm going to take the tape off and um, I'll have to work more on this another time. I got to go my, um, oh damn, this is sticking to my tape. Now I'm going to have to spook babe with the heat gun. Oh, sorry, sissy. Sorry, sis. Mommy got to use a heat gun. I'm screwing it up. <laughs> he, he did say he was going to keep me. Oh, rascal. Heat gun. Hang on. Tape, tape rarely sticks to this board. Yeah, that's what that's what I'm I'm doing my inner CC and using the tape. Oh hell, I'm burning myself too. Try to loosen up the glue or the adhesive. So I don't rip up my paper. Gosh darn, I got that on too high. This damn thing will peel paint. I mean, off walls. <laughs> I don't mean off my watercolor paper. I mean, it's made for peeling paint and stuff. Heavy duty. Don't heat too much because the glue will stay. Oh, great. Oh, it's tearing the paper down there. Yeah. Well, at least it wasn't a masterpiece that I'm having this issue with. That's tearing it on every side. Have you had any trouble with... Oh, crap. Was the B paper doing that, CC? Or is it me? Could be me. Oh, Lord. Having issues tonight. Yeah, that really... Um, I should have made the border bigger. Because you can't... It, and, and, of course, it tore the paper on every side. But, anyway, we'll do more with that another day. The shiny bits kind of save it. Let me get that um, stable. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just getting a piece of paint. Oh, jeez, my leg is, my ankle almost turned. Lord of mercy, it doesn't pay to get old around here. So here's here's this uh, Yupo. Um, it's still got a couple little puddles on. Oh, look, little penis starting there. I knew one would show up. They always do. 
Um, anyway, trying to give you some close ups of this, yummy. Look at that lunar black. Ah, next to that shiny pigment. See how it got all kind of like holes all through the pigment where it separated into like a lacy looking design instead of solid color. I use that term lacy loosely. Lucy lacy. There's that green. It got pushed. It's so sparkly you can't hardly tell it's green. There you go. There's one of the turquoise ones. See how it kind of breaks apart there and looks... Lacy is not the right word, but it's not a solid color. See where it's all those little rivers in there? That's just how it happened to separate. So you can't hate that, people. I'm, I'm going to try. I did try. I got some of the CC. I mean, uh, CB. There's too many damn initials. CC, CB, Z. Uh, I got this black carbonate. The purple on there is, of course, a fingerprint with 30, 30 fingers. But this is supposed to be really black, black. So we'll see. I'll use that next time and see what happens. But... Um, there, then lower, you can see all the flashes in there. I'm telling you, you can't hate it, people. All right, before my puppy hates me, I'm going to go get the little rascal. Sissy, you want to go up and get Oakley? You want to go get Oakley? She looked at her head up like, oh, I forgot. I know, I did too. Let's go get the little creature. All right, guys, um, there's a chance I might be able to stream a little bit tomorrow night. Um. Not, not tomorrow night, sorry. Tomorrow afternoon, late afternoon. So I'll try to give everybody a heads up if I can. Um, but anyway, it's been real. Thanks for jumping in at the last minute again. Sorry, I'm last minute Lucy lately. Night, everybody. Susan, hang in there. Good luck to you, my dear. I'm sure you'll do great and you're almost there. Thanks, guys. All right, let's see. Where am I? Okay, checking out. Love you, mean it. <laughs>